Well, lots of wind out there on this Monday here in central and eastern Kentucky. Of course, the I-64 corridor, the southern edge of an upper level low sitting and spinning over the Great Lakes made for kind of a wintry day well to our north. But good news, sunshine returning this afternoon and that allowed temperatures into the low 60s. Weather headlines, nice warm up toward the 80 degree mark beginning on Wednesday. So it's going to be a quick turnaround that we do have rain and storms on the table to end the weekend into part of the weekend. And just like what we had last week into this past weekend, some cooler air briefly returns on Sunday. Max AC radar and satellite, you see the scattered clouds going by the wayside. Everything up over the Great Lakes from Indianapolis, Columbus up toward Cleveland, Chicago, Detroit. Yes, a mix of rain and snow showers as expected underneath that colder air. You can see the camera is still jostling around a little bit here with our Bluegrass Pace Care Skyview HC camera network in Richmond. Crystal clear, 61. West wind still sustained at about 20 to 25 with gusts over 30. We haven't had those gusts 45 to 50 like we have in the past with all the wind events since the end of last year. So this has kind of been low end and we'll begin to back those down. Temperatures though with the higher sun angle were covered nicely. We've been in the low 60s and man, look at up to our north underneath the clouds, chilly air and that precipitation 46 Indy over to 40 in Columbus. That's it. Now that system will be working off to the northeast. High pressure already beginning to influence our weather, pushing some drier air in. That's going to mean clear skies tonight and lots of sunshine, not only tomorrow, but for the next couple of days. Notice here on our future cast, temperatures should dip down, I think, mid 30s here in the bluegrass and probably into the upper 30s to around 40 down south. Not expecting a widespread frost event, but some of the sheltered valley areas could catch it here in the bluegrass tomorrow. Higher sun angle, I mentioned upper 60s to low and maybe even a mid 70 or two down south. We've just had this trend of late of temperatures in the afternoon overachieving. I mentioned the frost potential just to be better safe than sorry here in the bluegrass region and points north where we do have a frost advisory 3 p.m to 9 a.m shouldn't be widespread but you might want to bring those plants in cover them up uh, again just to be on the safe side now this warm front is going to arc through as the high moves eastward and we catch that return flow so as a result we're going to jump all the way close to 80 if not right around it on wednesday we'll firmly be in the warmer sector and that southwest wind picks up everyone should see low 80s on thursday but you see what's on the way here cold front That'll shake things up a bit Friday and into the weekend. But this roller coaster ride of temperatures, cool air is replaced by warm air late this week. And then that boundary scoots on through and you see what is left in its wake on Sunday. Another shot of cooler air, albeit I think fairly brief. Now looking ahead to our rain chances, scattered rain and storms along that cold front on Friday. And a lot of the data has been indicating a little wave of energy rides along the front, slows it down a bit. And what that will do, that's going to keep the rain and storm chances around for the day on Saturday before we do eventually clear it out with that cooler air returning. So clear skies, still a little breezy, but chilly tomorrow morning, mid to upper 30s. 68 here in the bluegrass, low 70s down south. Good looking Tuesday in the extended forecast. Best days of the week obviously will be Wednesday and Thursday. Either side of 80 degrees Thursday, I think everybody gets into the lower 80s. There are your rain and storm chances Friday, Saturday, and a little bit cooler, of course, to end the weekend and kick off early next week.